Well, here we are, Gabs Brisbane 2021. The atmosphere is building. It's only early in the day, about two o'clock. It's already jam-packed. There's already 15, 20 people line up at the bar, particularly our friends at Corumban Valley. But we're doing a bit of a special, uh, special edition today with Roaming Muddy. So we're gonna see how many uh, brewers, friends, beer celebrities, we can rope into a bit of a quick chat around the venue. So yeah, let's see how we go. Here we are with Roaming Maddie at Gabs and we've found the one and only Beer Tragic. How are you today, Trad? I'm great. Well, look at this, pretty awesome, isn't it? Fabulous. Good to see so many people out and about. Um, I think a couple of years ago we were here and from what I recall, it was a lot quieter, so. It was, I believe there's more people here in this session than was a whole last time. Absolutely, so. The same at the night session. Good to see people really embrace Gab, so. What are we drinking here, mate? Um, obviously, your latest take on the Black Tragic. <laughs> the Black IPA, <laughs> which is very strong to my heart since I've done two, two professional brews of this style of beer and fell in love with it in Oregon. And this is exactly in that style and delicious. So, so proud. Yeah. Good collab. Awesome. Cheers, Trad. So, for those at home, he's drinking the uh, collab <laughs> we've just released with our friends Big Shed in South Australia. Uh, Black IPA featuring Neo Mexicanus Hop. So, I've got our Gab's beer, the Berry Berry Delight Sour. What really promises to be an awesome event. Still pretty early here now, but it's completely jam packed. There's people lining up at each stall to get a beer. The atmosphere is happening, so it's awesome. So, cheers, Trads. Good to see you, mate. Always great to see you. Woo! Trads Revelers! Oh, yeah. All right, here we are, our first guest celebrity for the day. We've got the one and only Smokey from Karaman Valley. How are you, mate? Well, I'm good, Matt. How are you? Very well, obviously. Absolutely cranking here at the Karaman Valley stall. Oh my god. Luke is, I'm out here talking to you. Yeah, it's getting You're today. working the room. The best yeah, of us work the room. Jump is. in. We got more celebrities yeah, popping up live, everywhere. Mate, so we're live. We're live, so <laughs> how, how good is this mate? It wasn't here earlier. Gabs 21. It's on now though. Absolutely jam-packed with people. Dude, you guys line epic. up almost out the door to get your beers. And and they're not pouring like they should, which is probably part of the reason. Don't be fooled by the long line, mate. Yeah. So you, uh, your partner in crime, Luke, he's hating you at the epic. moment because you're here talking with me and he's over there uh, working right. the bar. Oh, no. he's, someone he's shipping, he's shipping someone has to be the face he's of it, though. Legend, <laughs> he's a legend. He's just in there. I'll be doing the next session like that. We'll swap. But, yeah, that was the deal. But, man, I can't believe it. Like, the support's epic. Right? It's everything we could have hoped for. Don't have a tap room, as you know, so this is a big deal for us being here and actually getting to see the punters and have a chat with them. So it's fantastic. It's great to see. Um, yeah, we love it. Personally, I'm almost a little bit surprised how busy it is. Yeah. Um, last time, where well, you guys kicked it off with that awesome beer. Um, we'll see what happens this year, but it was definitely a lot quieter here in Brisbane. Yeah, whereas so now good. it's jam packed. Yeah, I think it's because I broke the bell. <laughs> that must be the reason. So, you and I were down in Melbourne a couple of weeks ago for the Melbourne edition. Were we? I we're think so. Not. I think I saw yeah, you a couple of times. Had a good time. Yeah. It's so nice to catch up with everybody. Yeah. Good to be up, back yeah. up in the Queensland sunshine. So, yeah. I won't hold you for too long, mate. Maybe we'll come back later and have another know. chat. Thanks, mate. Cheers, mate. Yeah, my beer. Yeah. And we just happened to run into another celebrity of the beer industry. We've got Chaz from Moffat Beach. How are you, Chaz? I'm very well, thank you. How are we travelling today at Brisbane Gap? Uh, I'm making sure I'm having getting the job done. Perfect, that's the attitude. So I ran into you a couple of weeks ago down in Melbourne, which was fun. Probably a little bit quieter personally at this stage, but the atmosphere here is amazing. How good is it to see all these people? I'm I'm wrapped. I think this is great for Brisbane. It's fantastic. Everybody's out having a few beers and having a good time. Absolutely. So have you guys got a festival beer? We do. It's the Orange Rip. Yeah. Uh, it's an orange cream soda that uh, we think John Candy would really like. Oh, awesome. So hopefully everyone gets a chance to try the orange cream soda. And how's the new venue going? The new brewery. Yeah, no, the, the, new bre the new breweries are work in progress. We are in that growth stage, so just starting to get our beers out to market now, so you'll see a lot more of us in Brisbane. 
Awesome. So, Moffat Beach have been very successful the last couple of years and a couple of beer awards. Tiny little brewery they had in Moffat Beach and now have stepped it up to a, a production brewery, a little bit bigger. So, yeah, take that next step. So, if you get a chance to get up, get up the Sunshine Coast and check out their beers, make sure you pop in, say hello to Shaz and Matty, who will probably be in the brewery working. Yeah, so good to see you. Cheers and have a good Gabs. All right, here we are, boys. It's half time at Gabs Brisbane 21. We have a couple of uh, legends, some not so much from the. Uh... <laughs> I'm only joking, of course. The Brisbane craft beer industry. We have Matty from Brewski. How are you, mate? I'm very well, thank you. And we have we have Ake here, who a brewer at Ballistic Brewery. How are you, mate? Oh, I'm thirsty, man. <laughs> it is half time. We'll be venturing up to the uh, Brewers Lounge very shortly, no doubt. And we have Sim from HBA, one of our hop suppliers. How are you, brother? I'm not too bad at all. Very good. Oh, we've got we've got another one. Hello, Loz. How are you? Welcome, welcome to Roaming Maddie. No, why? What's happening? Maddie. She's a little bit shy, it's only Maddie. Here we are, roaming Maddie, half time at Gab's. How are you today? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. She looks a little bit uh, scared at the moment. <laughs> Here she is, so Loz from Ballistic. Anyway, guys, half time. Um, we'll see what happens in the next sessions. Uh, roaming Maddie, they've just turned the lights on at Gab's half time. We've got the rock star from the Sunshine Coast, Christian McGarry. How are you, mate? Don't embarrass me like <laughs> that. Don't embarrass me in front of this gorgeous little one that you've got here. Oh my Isn't she a cutie? She, is she just stealing your thunder today? She is, mate. She is. It's um, a good way to get people to come and talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> you probably would have shooed me away otherwise. So how's your day been? Not too bad. We um we had a bit of a warm up event last night, so it was a bit of a slow start. Oh. So it, now we've reached half time. We're going okay. Anyway, we'll do a quick chat about Gabs. How did you find that first session? Epic. It wasn't it. Like, this is the best scab Brisbane that I've ever seen. 100%. Oh, this, like is, it was... this is as good, if not better, than the Saturday session at Melbourne. Yeah. Like it was, man. The atmosphere here was just like pulsing. It was. It was awesome. I loved it. Abs I completely agree. I was a little surprised to see how full it was. So, yeah. I was in. I went to Melbourne day one. There's a lot of hungover industry people. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, then Friday I is that? Is that? I think I saw you on Saturday before I had to shoot off to the airport, and you gave me um, some ridiculous Imperial Stout. I'll be which, Barry. <laughs> yeah, which, that's your Gabs beer. That's the Gabs. Can you briefly beer. tell me about that? Barry, rum barrel aged Imperial Stout, 12 percent, coconut infused. Uh, spent six months in Beanley rum. 30 year old barrels. I'm blown away by how good it tastes, honestly. I, I recall drinking it um, a little bit hungover on the Saturday. <laughs> like, would you like a beer, mate? I'm like, yep, here's a 12 and a half percent Imperial Stout. It was, it was enough, very enough to, tasty. Enough to pick you up. <laughs> it certainly it was. It <laughs> yeah. Anyway, mate, good to see you. Um, we'll see what uh, session two has installed. Always a pleasure. Cheers, mate. Cheers. 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 We are back. With roaming Matty, I'm um, not roaming too far at the moment, but I've got this gentleman sitting here with me, the one and only Friday Crafties. How are you, bro? Oh, yeah, good, brother. Good, good. How good is this to see the convention centre jam-packed full of beer lovers? Loving it, loving it. Last time I've been here, um, 2019, yep. we didn't have it last year, did we? No, last year was out. Okay, so um, 2019, it was unreal. A lot better than kind of atmosphere-ish this year, but more breweries, more places to see here today, and Revel. How you been? How you been? You good? We've been good at Revel. I've mentioned this already. All right, well, you can get off my lap. Oh. All right, I've got some circulation back in the legs. <laughs> but it's definitely, definitely more people here, and the atmosphere is amazing. Um, it's good, it's good. This reminds me of Melbourne back at the original... Um, Cool. Exhibition Centre in the Carlton Gardens where it was just electric, really great atmosphere. So the people in Brisbane have really turned out in force to support this event. So anyway, let's talk about you. Are you getting around to chat to anyone today? Yeah, yeah, I've had a few chats. I've uh, just been to Black Flag there. They just, I just did the Hopeless Romantic. 
Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you had that yet. No, not yet. I haven't had a, a chance a, really. A bit of a New Zealand kind of style IPA. Really yep. nice. Yeah, like I've been to Mountain Culture, a few other breweries, but I've tried you or um, beer. But I wouldn't mind trying it again, just quietly. Oh, I'm sure we can arrange that, mate. But <laughs> <laughs> it is still pretty early in the so, day. So, so you had the, um, what was the dark one? The black? The black IPA. The black IPA? That was with Big Shed? Yes. Really nice, roasty. It was tasty, you know what I, you know what I mean? Well, that's what we go for. Tasty is a good <laughs> And the um, the berry berry. Berry berry. I really enjoyed that one. That was like a strawberry and cream yeah. kind of style lolly. But yeah, really nice. Really nice. So that one, although it's a little stronger, it's a, a double sour. Oh, it's, it's designed double. to be uh, refreshing. Um, we launched the Black IPA last night at Hellbound in the Valley, so a couple of warm-up beers. So it's nice to come in and have something like that that's a bit refreshing. So personally, I'm keen to try the Willie the Boatman uh, Souvlaki beer. Have you had that one? I haven't had it yet. I haven't been to the paddles yet. So, uh, Maybe after this, we'll go and get a paddle wait to, wait to it off. Anyway, mate, awesome to see you. Enjoy Gabs. Might be time for another beer. Cheers. All right, here we are. Gabs. 2021 half time. We're in the Brewers Lounge with the Brewers and a few others. <laughs> Flex, welcome to the Brewers Lounge. Oh, mate, thank you very much. First time. Good to be here. <laughs> well, <laughs> welcome to Roaming with Matty. How's your first session been? Tiresome. Holding the team up. Tiresome. That's not the word I was looking for. Was a bit more enthusiasm. So, what have we? What have we got here? I oh, know. I just got a nice little uh, beef sandwich there. The, the, the guys threw on some. Uh, uh, Urban Alley Brewery, so refreshing. Lovely, and, uh, lovely. All right, I'll see if I can find someone with a bit more enthusiasm to have a chat to. Thanks for your input, Scotty. <laughs> Here he is, the the infamous. There's a match report guy, Matty. Like the infamous Scotty Morgan. How are you, mate? Uh, I've got the rocks. I've got the the, the spanner card. The spanner of shame. <laughs> Good to, good to see you up here, mate. How have you found Gab's 21 in Brisbane? Oh, it's been a positive experience. Everyone's done really well on the pitch and they've tried really hard. Yeah. You're actually holding yourself together quite well, yeah. which, which is good. You might make it past 7 o'clock tonight. Uh, there's plenty left in the tank and we're going to give the second half a great go. <laughs> Hopefully you're better than the Maroons were earlier in the week. Yeah. You're, a, you're a keen New South Welshman, I guess, so it's well, a good result. Someone's going to show them how to play footy, right? I guess so. <laughs> um, for those at home, Scotty, once upon a time, was my uh, head brewer. I'd like to say he taught me everything I know, but that's that's simply not true. <laughs> I, think, I, I think he just unwound that as he got out. You know, like, he, he showed me how to drive forklifts properly in the like, uh, yes. walls yep. and doors. And Knock off doors, flip walls, <laughs> and then get away with it, even and though it's on camera. Into that bus. <laughs> Just act like nothing happened. That's yeah, it. Yeah. Off you go. Pop off the orange. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, good to see you, mate. We'll Thank see you who else we can rope into roaming Matty at halftime. Uh, welcome back. Here we are in the Brewers Lounge. Gab's 21. A couple of the Brewers are a little bit shy, which surprises me a little. But this guy, that's one thing he's not. He's certainly not shy. So, Hendo, how are you, mate? Mate, I'm doing really good. How's your Gab's going? Fantastic. It's good to see so many people at the first session and also catch up with uh, the crew. How was your first session? Boozy. Boozy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk briefly about Gabs. How many, how many different festival beers have you tried? Uh, zero. Zero? Yes. Well, I think I've had five. I had one paddle. Well, I, haven't, I actually haven't been to the, any of the uh, container bars yet. Oh, no, I had the Corumbin Valley, um, the black current one, yeah. and um, that was pretty good, but they had it on the stand there, but I actually haven't done a paddle yet, and I think that's my mission for this I think session. once session two opens, you should get yourself a paddle. I had the uh, Willie the Boatman lamb souvlaki. I've heard some really interesting things about that beer. Almost right? as good as the souvlaki you and I had one night I late had in Maryville. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so, so, that's definitely one to look out for. The uh, the blue wayward, uh, wayward sour ale, sour ale. That was not a bad one. Definitely catches I the eye. I had the um, the Umundi licorice, uh, licorice beer as well, which was actually really good. And I'm not actually a big licorice fan, but go try it because it was a lot of fun. Really good, well done beer. One, an interesting one. We had the amaretto sour, which 
Amaretto is not really my thing, but I, that's one for people to check out, I think. From our Soapbox, I think, made that. Yeah, definitely give that one a go. And of course, make sure you try the Rebel Berry Berry Delight. Berry I'm Delight. For the Rebel Berry <laughs> Berry Delight. It's great to see you. It's great to see you. They call him Few. Few. Few Sour Project. Few Sour Project. It's coming. We're going to put beer in barrels. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> anyway, mate, good to see you. Enjoy the rest of Gabs. <laughs> We've got some very eager punters outside awaiting the opening of Gabs Brisbane 21 Session 2, the night session. A very, very popular first session here at Gabs. We had the chance to catch up with a few of the uh, brewers and celebrities of the beer industry. So let's see what session two has in store for us. We can only hope it's as good and as fun as session one, which I'm sure it will be. So let's see what happens. It's got that sort of anticipation in the air, much like building up like a Boxing Day sale where women wrestle each other over a vacuum cleaner. Maybe, a, maybe it'll be a Currumbin Valley beer or hopefully a Rebel beer, but we'll see. It's about to open, let's see. Oh, here we go. The doors are open for session two. Look at those eager punters waiting to get a beer as we welcome them in to Gab's session two. You can see them much like running at the balls, actually. Here they come. Here they come. Come in. <laughs> They're all walking at a very fast walk. Hopefully it's safe standing here. A lot of people have their phones out. <laughs> wow. Awesome to see so many punters turning out to Gabs. Um, obviously last year with COVID, we couldn't have Gabs. It's really an institution of the beer industry. So, fantastic really. Here they are. All right, let's go and serve these thirsty people some beers. Cheers. So here we have the three bald men they're popping in. Men of yeah, <laughs> I'm not bold. <laughs> no, you're not bold. Not... <laughs> Alright gentlemen, how are we? We're all recharged, ready to go for session two. We just need three words from each of you, your excitement for session two of Gabs Brisbane 2021. Excitement for Zonified Beer. Okay, thank you Wesley. I'm just here for a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, Uncle Steve. <laughs> and Flex, what have you got for us? Get on the beers, get on the beers. <laughs> Thanks, man. That was at least semi-interesting. Anyway, guys, here we are, session two to the Gabs. Woo! All right, here we are. We're now easing in to session two of Gabs. Plenty of people around, probably not quite quite the crowd that we had in session one, a bit more relaxed, but sitting here with uh, Sarah from Her Craft Beer Goggles, have I said that right? Yeah, that's right. So good to have you on the uh, Roaming Muddy slash Beer with the Brewer podcast. How are you going? Yes, good, thank you. Got a beer in hand, so I can't complain. Perfect. You were here earlier, you can, what did you think about the vibe of the festival? It was heckers, but good, like shoulder to shoulder, so many people here, so many beers, consumed so many paddles um, and it was great I loved it definitely the atmosphere was electric absolutely I think that's something I've been mentioning all day I've been coming to Gabs for nine ten years since it started the atmosphere today is one of the best I was in Melbourne a few weeks ago which of course was fantastic but to actually have this now I was in Sydney for a few years and come to Sydney now it's come to Brisbane it's good to see the craft beer scene really explodes. So, I guess for you, what brings you to sort of craft beer and is it stuff like this, the excitement of the, the craft beer? Like, what makes you go around to all different breweries and get involved in it? I really love speaking to all the locals, the brewers, you know, of course the patrons, anyone from Instagram that's right into the craft beer. But I certainly really enjoy touching base with the small business aspect of of this industry. I really try and make myself notable and just tell, you know, I'm lucky I get to try heaps of beers, I buy heaps of beers, and I drink even more, no. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Roaming Matty signing off for now. If we don't get the chance to speak again, it's been amazing being here. 
walking around interviewing people. Uh, what we do keeps evolving. We do it because we love it and we like having fun. That is basically the basis of what we do. Like, I've had my baby here today for five or six hours, um, which is awesome. My wife is amazing. I should give her a shout out more than anyone. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> she is the real MVP. So, yeah, so peace out, I guess. Peace out. <laughs>